In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix an issue in Unreal Engine where you're unable to save a blueprint and it keeps outputting the same error. First of all, the fix in this video is not about deleting the second Unreal project instance. So if you have the same issue, you need to first make sure you have not opened the same Unreal project twice as it can create the same issue. So first thing you need to do is make sure you go to the taskbar and see if you have two Unreal project instances running or not. So with that out of the way, the fix in this video has more to do with the compilation error that is not shown in blueprints. And I will show you what I mean by that in a minute. So over here, I am using the same third person project template that I used in the previous two videos, namely for checking out the free for the month sound effects bundle called the Magic and Spell Sounds Pro and then the new permanently free asset called the Advanced Stats with Rune System, both of which you can see on the cards above the screen if you want. So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to go over here in the, the add to the project button over here and then in here under cinematic I'm going to add a level sequence actor and then what I'm going to do is go to the blueprint class over here and open the level blueprint and then I'm just going to quickly go back to the level over here and make sure I have selected the level sequence actor. So I have selected it over here and go back to the level blueprint, right click and you have this option over here called create a reference to level sequence actor. Click over here and it will create this reference over here and then I'm just going to drag the pin and type play and I'm going to select the play sequence player and then in here I want you to assume that I have a bunch of blueprints over here and I have connected to the play over here and for whatever reason I wanted to copy all this and paste it into a widget blueprint all right so just assume that I wanted to do that so right click over here, drag down under user interface, you have this option called widget blueprint, click on it. And then I'm just going to give a random name like test one or something. Just it doesn't matter. I'm just demonstrating the issue that you're going to see in a minute. And in here, go to the graph. I'm just going to paste it over here. Rather, we could just create a button really quickly. So I'm just going to add a canvas panel. Drag this over here. And after that, I'm going to drag a button over here. And over here, in the left side, under my blueprints, under variables, you have this option called button. And this button is the same button that we have created over here. Click on this button over here. And then under details, you have this option called on clicked under the events. So click on it. I'm just going to drag this down over here and connect this to this pin over here. So again, this is just a demonstration to just recreate the issue. Now that we have done this, notice what happens when I compile this. There is no issue over here. See the compilation does not show any error over here. But notice what happens when I try saving this thing. See, we get this error over here that says that this blueprint have failed to save. And the reason for that is because this level sequence actor is not meant to actually be used in this widget blueprint. So again, if I were to go to the level again and select this level sequence actor and right click you will see we don't find that same option over here to just add the reference whereas over here you can see we get that same reference here and the way you fix this is again really simple you just delete this off compile and now you can see it's working fine so yeah this is how you actually fix this issue 
so you need to go to each of the nodes and make sure that whatever you have connected to is actually meant to be connected and this is also one of the reasons why if you are a beginner and you don't really fully understand how blueprints work i do not recommend to just copy the nodes over in one blueprint and paste it over to another blueprint especially on another completely different blueprint class again if you don't know what you're doing you could end up having a lot of issues and if you're a beginner this can be very frustrating because there is no information about this when i faced this issue i could not find any kind of information on how to solve this issue so yeah that's about it for this video i just wanted to make this video to help anyone else facing this same issue with blueprints thanks for watching and see you later Bye.